Hi, welcome to Touring Group's Buyer VIP series. Let's talk about how to maximize your buying power. Hey everybody, welcome to Truen Group. Whatever your real estate needs are, whether you're upsizing, downsizing, you're a first time homeowner, or you're an investor, maybe you're looking for that vacation property. We're here to guide you. So let's get started. So how do you maximize your buying power? Now you know how much money you qualify for the purchase price of a home because you've talked to your lender, but how much money do you need at closing? You're going to need your down payment. There's certain closing costs in, involved, all of those things. And you'll get a loan worksheet from your lender. And so they'll let you know how much do you need to close on this property. So you might want to keep some cash in your pocket. Let's say there's some repairs to be done on the home, or you just want to paint and put new carpet in, and you have cash in the bank, and if you put it all towards closing costs, you won't have the money. So you could actually ask the seller to contribute to your closing costs, a certain percent or a flat dollar amount. And so they would pay for some of your closing costs, you keep some of your cash in your pocket, you can do what you want with that money, it's a win-win, right? But be careful, you don't want to turn away a seller. Say they ask $300,000 for a home, you say, yeah, I'll pay $300,000, but I want you to pay me $5,000 towards my closing costs. And so all of a sudden they're like, well, that's like $295 to us. And we might have another offer for $300. Why would we take yours? So be really careful not to turn away the seller just for that purpose. What you could do and what does happen is you could offer more. So all of a sudden you're saying, okay, you're asking for $300,000. I really need money to replace the carpet or paint or whatever. And I, if I put all my money towards my closing costs, I won't have the cash for that. So you ask for three hundred. dollars I need five to keep five. So I'm going to ask you to pay $5,000 towards my closing costs, but I'm going to offer you three hundred dollars five. All of a sudden they're like, okay, that's what I asked for. So you might have to offer a higher purchase price for that for the seller to contribute to your closing costs, or you might not, depending on the market. So that's one way to maximize your home buying power. If you have any questions about this, we at Truen Group are here to guide you. Please contact us.